King of the Ring pay-per-view was one of a short, sweet pay-per-view. And let's just get into it, man. So the show kicked off with Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan. And they had been, well, you know, giving us little seeds and teeth about the Dominic stuff. And that played in where Dominic ended up costing Becky Lynch. And we crowned a new champion, Liv Morgan. Man, it was a fun match. Enjoyable, pretty uh, all around. And... A great, a great match. Um, then we move on to the triple threat match, dude. If I tell you, if I just, if I ever even say something about this match, man, crisp, crisp storytelling from every point of view. Such a good match. The undying wish uh, of uh, the will of Gable that he wants to be Intercontinental Champion. He's never gonna say die until he's Intercontinental Champion. He's gonna do anything he takes. He's a fucking heel, but it's working. And he's being an um, asshole to Yelp Academy, and, like, that's working. And the moment where Otis clotheslined him, unintentionally, nonetheless, and this has not happened. Otis has still not, you know, he, he didn't turn on him or something. He unintentionally attacked him. But, man, it felt good, and you know it felt good with Otis. You could tell that pop, like... Absolutely fucking incredible, beautiful, and the finish where Sami Zayn takes up Bronson with the Halua kick. God, God, love this shit so fucking good. Then we go on to the women's we uh, women's King of the Ring or Queen of the Ring. You go and say what I want to say. Um, Nia Jax versus Lyra Valkyria. Lyra Valkyria had a cool entrance. Same Becky Lynch. I forgot to tell you that both Irish people had a cool entrance. Becky Lynch for wrestling something really ridiculous, but all right. On um, Wire Valkyria, absolutely incredible talent, man. She had a good outing, but my problem with this matchup it was that there was all selling a bit. You know, I gotta say, not too much selling from Nia Jax. She sold pretty good enough, but she, maybe should have sold a little more to give me a more hope for Lyra Valkyria because it really felt like, and it was a pretty fun, good match, you know. It was on something too special. Kind of the weakest part of the sh show, the entire show. You know what? But it's fine. It's an Ajax match. It's cool. And she's really getting better, but I could have expected her to sell more, but she didn't. What could I do? But it was a pretty good, fun match. Um, Gunther versus Randy Orton. Everything these two did. Old school style wrestling, man. It was absolutely incredible. The, the moves they did, everything they did in the moves. Um... The finish as well. I loved how Gunther sold that. I loved how Gunther rolled him up and then he pinned a Randy Orton because he wanted to get out of this. Like he, Gunther, Gunther just because he was in a war with Randy Orton. It was a fucking war match and I fucking loved it. Great match. Fantastic storytelling. And you know Gunther is going to be champ. But the problem with the finish was that Randy Orton's shoulder was up. And then everybody, and there's something to do with that. I don't know what's happening. But yeah. Well, a really good match. This man Gunther is going to be a fucking thing to be reckoned with, dude. This guy will be a dangerous thing on the roster of WWE. I hope he only stays at WWE, but goddamn, I fucking love Gunther. He makes everything so much better. Randy Orton is incredible, too. He's had a fucking good career, man. But Gunther is absolutely the... The GOAT, in my opinion, at this time. I'm the Warren GOAT, the current era's GOAT, the current greatest of all time, is Gunter. And fight me if you want to. Logan Paul versus Cody Rhodes gave us a little interesting note on that. Because it had, it, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. It was, it was, it was a really good match. And there were some aspects of it you would like, okay, what are, what are, what are they doing here? All right. Logan Paul versus Cody Rhodes. Oh, really, to me, was pretty good. I fucking enjoyed that shit. You know, all Hajjaj, whatever the hell that is. So they got that man in. And um, I'm not going to say anything racist. You know, I'm going to say anything. Sorry, I don't even talk about that. But Logan Paul and Cody Rhodes. My problem with Logan Paul is he needs to stop being that Saudi big money draw wrestler. Because it's cool that he is, but he's just in that vortex. Like, you people about Jericho's vortex? He's in that, that Saudi a Saudi show vortex, and I wanted to move out from it and become a different kind of Logan Paul. 
and started doing different spots because he does this viral spot in bed. But it was a really fun match, but kind of predictable. But it, but it kind of had some other spots that I really liked about it that I did not predict, you know, but fucking part of a match. Loved it. Great ending. Great King of the Ring, man. An absolute banger. A banger of a show. And to keep it short and sweet, fuck Double or Nothing. <laughs>